If you have worked on databases in Notion, then you might have the idea that we can set a default template in their database. So whenever we create a new page, that template will be automatically applied to that page. I will show you how to do that and I will be creating a default template for my YouTube dashboard. If you want this dashboard, I will leave the link in the description down below so you can use it for free. Alright, so we will start from scratch, but let me first show you what do I mean by the default template. So let's say uh, if I open up one of my projects, uh, you can see that I have set up all of the properties uh, beforehand and I have uh, these titles and description I have everything uh, right in the place but how did I do it I had to create a template uh, for my YouTube database and whenever I create a new page let's say if I create a new task and I open this up you can see that uh, I already have the template loaded up in this page uh, just give it a bit and here, here we go so uh, let me show you how we can do that and uh, I'll just start from the scratch and create everything right here. So let's just go to testing. Okay, So let me just create a new page and uh, in here I'm just gonna go with table database, create a new one and okay. So first of all I'm going to uh, give it some properties uh, alright uh, and I will start with status so i'm uh, doing it for the youtube so it means i'm we should have some statuses in place and uh, i'm just gonna add some more like uh, ready to upload just change the color of this this one in progress i'm gonna add editing and just like that okay so we have our tags in place uh, let me just change the title to status and then I'm gonna add another property which would be uh, let's just say it's the playlist for a YouTube channel. Let me just add a bunch of options. Alright, so we have a playlist as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to name it YouTube dashboard. Oh god, I'm also good with the alright, and then I'm gonna change this view to board. Alright, so we have our uh this board is how are we going to set it? We're going to group it. Uh by statuses I'm going to fill the columns as well and here we go it's uh, almost same as I have in my uh, original dashboard alright so the first thing that I'm going to do is to uh, create a new page so whenever I create a new page and I open it up you can see that it's empty uh, we don't have anything over here so if I start uh, if I start a new project I, I have to get everything from the stretch in this one so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, we, if you see here, we can uh, create a template from here, or we can also go to this, uh, go back to our main database and create a new button. And here we also have the option to add a new template. So I'm just just gonna click on new template, open it up in full view, and uh, I'm just gonna name it new. And the one thing that I'm going to do is to make it full width, then customize page, and I'm going to turn all of these things off and uh, all right so playlist let me just i'm gonna just leave it as it is and uh, so whenever we are going to create a new task obviously it's going to be in the first phase so uh, i'm gonna, just gonna select not started and uh, if you want to add some more uh, properties we can do that as well um, okay so let's start with the uh, first thing that i'm going to do for my uh, YouTube dashboard. So first of all, we need a place for the script, but uh, I don't want to scroll too much to the bottom to view everything. So I'm just gonna place it 
uh, right beside each other. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to use slash and two columns. All right now we have uh, actually two columns in place. So the first one I'm going to use call out and here I'm going to give the heading for the script. All right, so uh, the other thing that I'm going to show you is that uh, you can also use uh, you can use these icons but you can also use the icons from the uh, third party like flat icon or every, anything that you want to do just you just have to copy the uh, image address and place it over here all right so i'm just gonna look for a script actually i don't think we can uh, find the script so let's do the document all right so this one is for the script I'm just, I, we can also change the color as well. I'm just gonna leave it as yellow. All right. Uh, next thing that I like to do is to uh, break the script into three parts. So, so the first part is the introduction part, and the, then we have the uh, tutorial script, and then the closing lines. So uh, let me just. Uh, the first one would be intro. I'm really not good with the spellings. Alright, so the first one is the introduction. So what I'm going to do, uh, so first we have the introduction. Uh, let me just turn it into code and also just uh, drag it under our script section. And uh, then I can also change the size uh, color, and we can also change the code size as well. I'm just gonna give it a small. Uh, it looks good that way. All right. After the introduction, the next one is tutorial script. Again, I'm gonna change it to code. Change the code size to default and just drag it right here. And uh, I'm gonna change the color to green. Okay, and the last one is the closing lines. So we can also create like that closing lines. Okay, again, again, change the color to two. Okay, <coughs> all right. Uh, now I'm just gonna give some space into all of these three so it's easy to look at. Okay, all right. So uh, now the second thing is uh, we need to have a place to write down our title and description. So I'm just gonna uh, create another call out, and here I'm going to name it title and description. Um, just use anything that you like again, give it a uh, code use another code and change the color as you like it for the title and for description all right so we have uh, two columns for all right so now we have two columns one is for title and description and the second one is for the script all right uh, next thing that i want to do i like to do is to uh, create a section where i can use the inspirations for my video i can use uh, any tweet any bookmark of a video so i can just check it later and just get an inspiration from it so i'm again going to create two columns over here and the first one create a new call out and in here i'm going to use inspiration or video right all right the next one would be title ideas change the icon and then if I go down I'm going to create another call out and I'm gonna use it for thumbnail ideas 
poziționați e. Change the color. Alright. And the final one would be for tags. Okay. So, uh, so right now we are actually done with our template. So all we have to do is to just click on back button and we're back in our YouTube dashboard. All right. So if I click on new button and create a new task and if I open this up, you can see that it's uh, actually not applied to the new task. So the one thing that I'm going to do, uh, let me just change it to full page. So, okay. So now if I open this up, you can see that uh, it's not applied applied to the so if I click on you that template will be applied to our task but that's not what we want to do so let me just go back to this one uh, this option here and here is our uh, template for uh, our main dashboard so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this icon and set this one as default and use for all views in YouTube so every view that we create here uh, it's going to be applied on all of it so just select this one and if I click another task now and if I open it up you can see uh, that this template is now automatically applied to uh, our new task so and uh, it also looks really good in black and white color alright so I think this is it for this video uh, I hope you like it and if you think this video works for you make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, I will see you in the next one.